Today's Real Talk will be with Ron Asgarte of Texas Instruments, and we're going to be discussing the benefits, why a custom-made made-to-measure bike is the best decision he's ever done in the past 10 years. Normally, we, have, we get a lot of questions how we design bikes or how we size them. Uh, comfort should be a default. Because I saw your bike, you buy you have numb fingers, numb hands, lower back pain. Usually your quads get overused or normal numb hands, numb fingers, right? Okay. So <clears throat> the reason why we want to have like a made to measure, those should go away uh, automatically by default. We shouldn't be talking about comfort anymore. When you go to a bike shop, how do you buy a bike? Mm, I mean like size or? How do, yeah, what's the first question that you normally get when you buy a bike on a bike shop? Take size. Okay. Size. And how do they decide on the size? So mostly, the sticker size on a bike mm -hmm. is based on your inseam. Yes. Right? So, uh, that's the traditional. Mm -hmm. But for us Filipinos, it doesn't work. That's what I noticed as well. Right. What's happening so, now is that when you, when you get a bike, they decide on what your size is based on your height. Mm -hmm. So they look at a chart, and you can even Google it now. What size do I have to get? They, they have this range, diba? Extra small. Extra small, small, medium, large. Okay. If, if, I mean assuming, if that's so correct, bike fitters shouldn't have a job anymore, right? Remember when you go to a shoe store? Yeah. When you go to a shoe store, they make you fit so many shoes. Oh. So when you go to that bike shop, Sometimes uh, they said it's the height. Sometimes they said it's the, the reach, no? But when you buy a shoe, just like your example, when you buy a shoe, the first thing that they're going to ask you is, what's your size? As a starting point, diba? Right? And then, okay, can we get a pair? Okay, yeah, and then the width. And then you try it on. And then they say, can I get the next other size, right? You try it on. And then they even ask you to walk around, correct? Walk it. And then you sit down and then you decide, okay, this is the right shoe for me. But you know, not the sales lady. Yes. You agree? Yes. So in, in buying shoes, the sales lady always, always asks you, sir, is that okay? Does it fit? Does it fit? But the same argument does not apply in the bike shop. Yeah? They said, sir, for sure, this is your size. Yeah? They said, no, 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 sorry. This is your side. This really fits you. Okay. Yeah. But, but the irony is, unlike the shoe industry, they will never take that bike out and let you ride it outside. Have you ever encountered? No. Nah, I can ride it outside. Here, here, in oh, the Philippines. Like the bike? Yeah. You're now buying blind, just believing what a salesperson and and what's worse is sometimes you only talk to a sales person who doesn't even bike most of the time the mechanic is at the back side usually you get to encounter very rare that the owner of the shop a salesperson will will vouch okay so let's just say for the sake of discussion you know some bikes now cost a lot of money let's just say you paid 200,000 peso 200,000 peso is not a joke. Back in the days when I was biking, 10,000 peso is, is, is more than enough. Now, 200K. Now, the, the sad part is, and this is not usually discussed, when you buy your bike, you paid 200,000 peso, literally, you paid cash for 200,000 peso, they said it fits you, and then you start riding with your buddies. After riding for a while, you get numb fingers, you get lower back pain, etc. Right? Normal. Well, they said it's normal. And then you tell your friend, who's a smart guy, who tells you, what, he, what does he say? Upgrade. <laughs> Masana ka rin dyan, right? It's just about mileage. Yeah, true. No, no, no problem. It's just about mileage. Absolutely true. But then, after a week or so, a month, the, the numbness does not go away. And I'm telling you real life stories that we always get, no? So, what do you do now? Assuming you don't have a friend, you're lucky you have friends who bike. But what if you don't have friends who bike? Yeah, exactly. And majority of the people after lockdown, during lockdown, 
they don't know any biking community. So you go back to the bike store, right? And then you say, it's like buying a, a shoe. You said, hey, you said this, this, this fits me, but my, my hands still hurt now. Right? That, those are, I think that's a fair argument. Yeah. Huh? And then what will the bike shop owner advise you? Sir, if you have back pain, numb fingers, ah, you should have a bike fit. So sure, uh, you, can, you can get a bike fit. But, but the next question is, okay, I, I'm going to get a bike fit, right? A high-tech bike fit. And then you go to the bike fitter. And then they say, sir, how much is uh, the bike fit? Because I was advised by the shop owner that I get a bike fit. Ah, you have to pay another 8,000 pesos. Okay, who's going to pay for it? Who do you think will pay for it? You pay for it. And then the bike fitter said, oh, you have to change your crank. It's too long. Okay, how much is it? Another 15, who's gonna pay for it? Yeah, I'm, you again. You literally just bought a bike and to find out that it's wrong and then you end up having to buy another set. Like literally, it's brand new. And then the guy's gonna tell you now, oh, you have to change stuff. I said, wait. So I just spent a lot of money assuming that I'm gonna be comfortable and happy. And then now you're telling me I have to fork out another amount of money for something that could have been fixed the first time around. Fair enough, right? So this is what the industry is not telling. pushing. I'm not, I'm not saying telling, but it's not pushing. So my job over here, that's why I invited you, is maybe a little bit of education will give you a little bit of a knowledge how bikes are designed. Back in the days, during our age, when you buy a bike, you have to buy a frame, and then you buy components right and then who builds your bike the mechanic and usually mechanics here in the philippines are also bikers right? so they would know but right now when you go to a bike shop the bike is already built so it's take it or leave it now the hard part is usually bikes that are in the range of 200 to 300,000 peso most of the time, the new bikes now are integrated, right? Integrated stem, what does that mean? You cannot adjust the stem anymore. Yeah, yeah, Everything is internal. So now, the reason why they don't encourage you to modify it, because the moment that they remove all of that, ah, look at the bike shop. So that's why they don't encourage changing. They don't. So what do they do when they bike fit you? Instead of changing an integrated, they're just gonna push the saddle forward so you can reach it. Just push the saddle forward. And they say, oh, it fits you. But yeah, okay, it fits me now, but I still can't climb. My heart rate's still high. I still have numb fingers. Why numb fingers? Because what people don't realize, when you push the saddle forward, you're also putting the center of gravity forward. So I'll give you an example. Stay on back here again, huh? So it's like this is now when this is the saddle forward now. Put your hands on your side and then just follow me, just do this. Yeah, but I cannot. So that cannot, right? So he's only up to here. He's already stressing his calves. You agree? So you're not even doing anything yet, you're already stressed out. That's why a lot of bikers just by riding, they're already stressed out. They're not working out yet. So ending, instead of you having a longer time to ride, you end up... <clears throat> right. Or you end up staying in 7-Eleven longer than the actual bike ride. <laughs> now look at this. Huh? I'm going to make the saddle go backward where it was supposed to be designed. So face him. So instead of you doing this, now put your... Yan! You see that butt? And then just go lower. Lower. There you go. So if you, if you go lower now, you would notice the point here to the point here. That's the angle of the seat. Right. That's the angle of the seat tube and the setback of the saddle because that's your natural balance. And that's the reason why, when I found out about your physical measurement, you are one of the, you can say, uh, 
individuals who will really benefit from a custom measured bike because exactly what you just did i'm just gonna do a simple demonstration no? look at me so this is straight and then i go down slowly slowly you see my butt is going backward because this is what my body dictates so that i'm, I'm already like this right so without even a bike underneath me i can hold this for a few minutes even for hours just feels good why look at no stress okay next and maybe you've seen some of our videos right i'm gonna bend my elbow now you know you've heard of the 90 degree meme right i bend my elbow and i can hold this that's where my hood should be because this is what my body is dictating now i'm gonna make it worse i'm gonna stand with one leg and then do this I can still push it, hold it. That's why you see on all of our bike fits and made-to-measure bikes, the elbows hit this. Because I can hold this now. And I can still see. Now, imagine this. You're like this, right? I'll make you experience it. Just, just for, okay, lower, and then too low. Yeah, 90 degree. There you go. Okay, stay there, huh? Now, what I'm going to be doing is, just, just for conversation's sake, I'm gonna ask you to reach for this. With my hand? Yes, with your hand. Like See, stay there, huh? So now, all of a sudden, you would feel that your, right, now your lower back is straining, your hamstrings are straining, everything is straining. Just to, just to steer the bike. This is just steering pa lang, huh? You're not even biking yet. So, this is what a lot of, so just hold it, yeah, yeah, hold it. There you go. See that? That's already a lot of strain. Now, this one is training, this one is training, this one is training. So what do you do now? Naturally, you slide your hands backward, diba? Right? So slide your backward. Then you can survive the whole day. It's not rocket science. <clears throat> so the way I'm designing your bike, what I'm gonna do now using your drawing is I'm gonna explain now what are the possible possible if i bought that bike so he said oh coach you have to have a smaller top tube mm -hmm. what happens is most bikes are made out of a mold remember it's a mold right and this mold is repeated repeated it says small medium large or sometimes extra small the smaller the top tube the smaller the head tube that's why you notice all the time the number one solution is they put a lot of spacers so I said, wait, wait, wait. So you just bought a Ferrari, and then you're now changing the Magwills to a Sarao. I mean, just for a conversation, right? It's like, wait, I paid 200,000 pesos because, well, I like it in the internet. It looks good. And then when you start riding it, wait, I, I think I need to change the stem to upward pa. Then I said, so what did you buy? So a made-to-measure takes away those compromises. I can shorten the top tube and increase the head tube. Then you can now have a bike with no spacer. That's why, now that you, we've met, a lot of people comment that they think I'm a taller person than normal because when they see me on the bike, I look like a taller person. But I can tell you right now, I'm just maybe two centimeters taller than you. And I've been biking since I was 12 years old. I've tried all the bikes. I can guarantee I've tried all the bikes. In a normal bike, like a Bianchi, which was my last bike, right? XR4. Wow. Right? Beautiful. For me to get the same biomechanics, because I teach biomechanics, just for me to get the same posture in biomechanics, my stem has to be a BMX stem, a 50 centimeter, 50 millimeter stem, like this small, just for me to get the same biomechanics. On a made-to-measure bike, I'm now back at 90. And still, people think that I'm bigger. So just to summarize, because we do this all the time, what's your ideal bike now? Your ideal bike should have a shorter top tube, ideally 47. Nothing shorter than that, or else there's going to be too much of a toe overlap you know, from the foot. But you have to, we ha you have to be ready that a made-to-measure bike will always have toe overlap. All the time. But when you're used to it, you know how to time it. Naman eh. It's like first time you wore uh, clipless pedals, they say, oh, that's dangerous. 
But when you learn it, it's like, it's not dangerous, it's that simple. Yeah. <laughs> but that's normally our experience. So, a shorter top tube and a taller head tube. So when you look at yourself now, you look so balanced on the bike. And I always tell people, we're not getting any younger. So for us, what's more important is be able to bike longer and, and the reason why I need to ride with you is that I'm going to show you that when you ride, it feels like you went to the gym. Not exhausted na parang gulay, you go home. It, like when, yeah. When you feel that, it means that you were just stressed out. Kaya ang daming nagbabike, nababurn out lang. Now, when you compare it to the gym, that's why we're in a gym right now. Just for, I'm just going to share you this idea so that you can talk about it. When you go to the gym, there are so many different machines, diba? Why? Different muscle groups. Okay. So, different muscle groups, right? Now, I go to, uh, let's say, uh, uh, leg extension. When you go to a leg extension, if you go to a good gym, the equipment have adjustments, right? Why? Why adjustments? You now put that muscle in a very specific movement. Same with the bike. So, for example, if... Uh, 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 Yao Ming just used the leg extension and I didn't adjust it and I start doing like literally the foot is here yeah I can do the exercise but do you think I'll have the same development as somewhat? no and that's what's happening in cycling you think you're biking but you're not improving and you bike every day and, well, you got the right parts you got the Shimano everything on the list like check 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 but every time you bike you still feel the same way <clears throat> So it's the same idea with the gym equipment. If you don't adjust it properly, your muscles will never activate correctly. So biomechanics, not bike fitting anymore. Bike fitting, unfortunately, just the word itself, bike fit. That's the bike fit you. But it didn't tell you, you're going to learn how to shift. You're going to learn how to pedal. You're going to learn how to climb. No, there's no conversation. Bike fit is as simple as does the bike fit you? That's why adjusting the bike, you can only do so much in adjusting the bike. If you have an integrated stem, what else can you adjust on the bike? Just the saddle. Saddle height, saddle fore aft. That's it. It doesn't take hours and hours and hours to adjust it. But, of course, we have a lot of friends who already have bikes. So instead of adjusting the bike, which is only finite amount of adjustment, Instead, we teach you how to bike. That's biomechanics. Biomechanics, I'm going to teach you the efficiency of motion. By also teaching you how to adapt to the compromise. Right? It's like during the lockdown, well, you have to live with the lockdown. You have to just change the way you live, but you're still going to live. So same with this one. If your bike is too long for you, I can't do anything. I'm not going to tell you to buy a new one. Because if you talk to this guy, of course, he's going to tell you to buy a new one. <laughs> of course. But if, if not everyone has the money to always buy, right? So instead, we teach you biomechanics. Now, your advantage is, if you have a made-to-measure bike, the biomechanics part, oh, a lot easier. It's like I put you on the gym and then adjusted it. Now you do the leg. Oh, easy. Now you can carry heavier weights. Same with the bike. Now you can climb better. I'm not saying faster, but now more powerful. You recover faster. Your heart rate is lower. Everything else. Then you become addicted to cycling for the right reasons. You're not addicted because of the upgrades. Because every time you bike, you feel good. Like everything's like, wow, I feel good. It's like, whew, I feel good. And that's the reason why a lot of people watch our videos because it's like poetry in motion. But we never talk about the brand of bikes, right? If you notice in all our videos, we never do bike reviews. We never do brand endorsement. We don't. Because we always believe that it's, it's you. What bike you have now is the best bike in the world. Right, right. What we always tell, even the kids now, we always tell them, don't make inget with the older people. Whatever bike you have now is the best bike in the world. But... That's why we publish those videos, is to show them that 
just copy what we're doing on the video because modifying your posture is free. Yeah? Modifying your posture is free. So I, we needed to have the same level of understanding now. So as we go through this project, you would now understand why you had to invest on a made-to-measure. Okay, so, thank you very much. You design your bike to be all-road. You're, you're familiar uh, with that? All-road for the components. Okay, all-road. So this is the category of bikes. Again, this is what the industry is trying to push. You're going to do triathlon. Oh, sir, you got to do a triathlon bike. You got to do gravel. Oh, you got to buy our gravel bike. Oh, you're going to do Odax. Ah, you have to use our touring bike. Ah, you're going to do road racing. Ah, we have our criteria. It's like every activity has a specific bike. So when we design your bike, it's supposed to be the bike that you will use forever. We call it future proof. What do you mean? So in one bike, so hear me out, in one bike, we will always use that template that you showed me. Because when you do triathlon, your neck doesn't get longer, no? When you do, oh, that's your other leg. This, no, it's always the same. Meaning the engine will never change. The terrain will change. Right. So the conditions change, but you will never change. So when we design your bike, that template that you just showed me is supposed to be the optimum. unique, optimum posture unique to you. Unique to you. Okay? So when we make the bike now, I'm just going to create a bike the frame but you can change the tires it can be a road bike it can be a gravel bike so, the, okay. so now just like what you see in our case we only have one bike now. we want to do a triathlon we just put in an aero bar because look at this posture huh? my butt goes back here hoods aero bar hoods drops hoods aero bar because that's the position where there is no strain on the back and the neck. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for thank you, so much. Thank you very much for the discussion. Okay, here we go. So as you start going steeper, this one, 